Prayer doesn't miraculously take away life's challenges. It's not a magic formula that whisks our troubles away. Jesus himself prayed to be delivered from the cross and yet through prayer he also accepted that this was God's will for him. The Apostle Paul prayed to be delivered from his thorn in the flesh but when God did not remove this trouble from his life, Paul allowed God to use it to make him stronger. Prayer was the way both Jesus and Paul struggled with their emotional reactions to life difficulties. It allowed them to transform the meaning of their circumstances so that what had been a crisis became an opportunity for God's creative work. My friends, prayer can do the same for you. As we open this communication line with God, we are open up to God's Spirit and we will see Him working through us and in us. Prayer will bring us peace even in the midst of the most difficult times. topic that's hard to talk about openly. Whether it's something that lies long ago in our past or it is something that we are presently dealing with today. The shame that goes along with this topic is hard to face. But God wants us to take away that sense of shame. He wants us to understand that in His eyes we are clean and pure. Abuse tells lies. It says that the abused person is unworthy of love and dignity and respect. God longs to smash those lies. Here are some inspirational prayers for when you don't know what to pray. Lord, help me this day to see the lies others have told me about myself as what they say are lies. Remind me of the truth that I am fearfully and wonderfully made in your image and that you have great plans for my future. Lord, I know I am precious in your eyes. I am beautiful and spotless in your sight. Help me to hold my head high wrapped in the knowledge that I am your child. Take away my shame. Heal my wounded memories. Create something new inside me. Make me whole again, I pray. Lord, I feel alone at times when I think about what has been done to me. I wonder if it's somehow my fault. Thank you for reassuring me time and time again that it's not my fault and that you are here with me even in my darkest hour. Help me to sense your presence now, I pray. You are my Savior and you have promised to never leave me alone. Oh, what a wonderful promise. My Lord, I know in my own power I could never rise above this. But in you, all things are possible. Help me to feel safe and whole again. Give me peace and joy once more. I claim these things as my birthright as your child.
God, I'm afraid when I see a certain person or a type of person. I feel the fear wash over me all over again. I keep thinking I've put the memories behind me, but then there they are again. I feel the sting of abuse as fresh as the times when it occurred. Please take control of my thoughts and cast out the enemy and his desire to pull me down. Father, I feel vulnerable. I fear being hurt again. I know that I can't hide behind walls. Lord, help me to trust you and trust your protection and give me wisdom about the people I can trust. Show me safe people, O oh God. I don't feel very lovable, God. It's hard for me to believe that you really love me. I'm afraid of being intimate even with you. I'm afraid to let down the barriers I've built around my heart. Help me to trust you. Jesus, I know you came to heal the brokenhearted. Heal my broken heart, I pray. You came to deliver captives into freedom. Set me free from abuse. You came to heal those who are bruised. I ask that you heal the scars of abuse in my heart, in my mind, in my memories, and in my life. Please rescue me, O oh Lord. Jesus, my old abusive habits are tempting me today. Fill me with your spirit so that I wouldn't belittle or criticize my loved ones, my family, my children, but build them up instead. Bring to mind what it looks like to be near me when I act badly, not so that I get stuck in the past, but so I can remember the cause of my sins. I am sick over what I've done and it still nags me. Help me, Lord, to make that extra effort to be loving and kind to my family, even if I need to isolate myself until I am under control again. Help me live with my loved ones in an understanding way and let me nourish and cherish them the way you nourish and cherish the church. Help me, O oh Lord, to guide my children in the training and instructions of the Lord. As in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4, and help me to avoid irritating and frustrating them and provoking them to wrath. Jesus, you have called me to be gentle and loving towards my wife. I have not obeyed you. Help me to break from my negative thoughts and actions and to become more like you. Taken to extremes, my perfectionism becomes criticism. My jealousy becomes obsession, and my competitiveness becomes domination. I know you have a better and a higher way for me to be merciful and humble, to treat my wife with respect and kindness. Father, my spouse is dealing with the effects of someone else's abuse. Help me to make our relationship a secure place 
and empower me to avoid reacting to their stress and anger with my own. Even though I am surprised and heartbroken to find this out, help me to look past my own shock and seize the opportunity to begin to heal. I want to be like Joseph who didn't understand the situation with Mary but still let his compassion and love for her guide his behavior towards her. Please heal my spouse and let me be part of that healing especially when it is difficult, when it affects our sex life and our friendship. I want to take the long view and trust you with this daily details. I know you are on my side, Lord. You want me to be whole. You want me to trust you so that I can receive your blessings. You want to give me the capacity to walk in your grace and wrap myself in your love. You are the creator of the world. There is nothing too hard for you. I love the verse in scripture that says, the battle is the Lord's. My battle is not with weapons or against a large army, but it feels every bit as challenging. I fight a battle to love myself and to forgive the ones who have hurt me. I fight it every day. I'm thankful that the battle is yours, Jesus. I can't do this on my own. I feel so many things, Lord. I feel guilt, grief, fear, anger. All these emotions are mixed up inside me. Sometimes I wonder how I can ever get past them. And yet I believe that even in this, you are making me into the person you want me to be. Somehow, even in the midst of all this pain, you are working all things together for my good. Lord, I maintain my hope in you and I hold onto the assurance that what I am praying for is already accomplished in the name of Jesus. Your word promises no good things does he withhold from those that walk uprightly. Psalm 84, 11. I wait upon you for your definition of the good thing you will not withhold from me. As David prayed in Psalm 18, 1, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my strength, and the horn of my salvation, my strong hold. Lord, I lift up all those who are struggling to find hope. May your light shine in their lives and dispel the darkness. Use me as an instrument of hope to encourage and support those in need. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. More love, more light. Thank you for visiting my restoration channel. I trust that you have received some value from my discussion. Please leave your comments, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. This will be helpful so that I can continue to bring you more restoration gems. This is Infinite Restorer 
sending you more peace, more love, more light. Until I see you again, stay well.